just took off. We're here in Scottsdale, Arizona at the Waste Management Phoenix Open. Now, we don't have access, special access or anything like that, but we're just gonna kinda go and enjoy our week and kinda see what the Waste Management Open is about. How did it become such a big party tournament? And we're off to a good start because somebody gave me their wristband for the penthouse suite, so we're gonna have some fun. Not a gap. That is insane. It's wrapped to a great start. A great start because Tiffany just got one too. People here are very generous, or maybe it's just towards the end of the. They're drinking. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can get. It is, yeah. Okay. Got our first drinks with our amazing wristbands from our. Friendly strangers. Cheers! Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Ready to golf, except we're not golfing. We're headed to the Waste Management Open. It is Thursday. Actually, it is Wednesday. <laughs> um, so we're gonna go watch the practice round, see if we can talk to some people, some attendees, some players. We'll just see what we can get into. Um, but I'm pretty excited because yesterday was only Tuesday and there was so much happening. Um, so I'm excited to see what's up. Let's say hi to Tiff. Say hi, Tip. Oh, hi. <laughs> I heard her coming in. We didn't plan that. All right. So I decided to, I randomly decided to kind of make a guideline on the Waste Management Open. Um, some rules. Rule number one, do not forget your ticket because we just forgot my ticket and we had to drive back, grab it, and then come back. So that's rule number one. Remember your ticket. Rule number two, listen to your Uber driver when he says he can get you all the way to the front and then delivers. Like, yes, we didn't have to take a shuttle.
nourished and hydrated. Don't get caught up in the crowds because they're totally going to swoop you one way and you're going to get lost like I just did. But, you know, Tip's got my back and... System. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Big deep breath in, blow like a blown up a balloon. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Stop. Would you drive in your current condition? No, I'm taking an Uber. But would you drive? Now you're taking an Uber, but it's, it's all part of education, right? Right, right. Understanding where you are based on how much you had to drive. I feel like I would drive. You would drive? I would drive. Point zero zero five. Bring the limits to no way. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty damn good. Uh, Rule number six, bring a jacket. It's freezing here. I mean, you've got, it's really cold. It's desert weather, so it's really cold in the mornings and at night, even though it's warm during the day, like, and you're like, oh, I don't want to carry a jacket, just bring it because you're going to be freezing. <laughs> Rule number seven, stay later after the rounds are over because you get some bomb lighting, beautiful sunsets, and you can take some fun photos with the desert and on the golf course because we totally snuck onto the course and took some photos up there. So that is something to keep in mind. Rule number eight, bring Baraka or Airborne or Emergency C. Take it every day and night before you go out. When you come back, like four times a day. Rule number nine, shoes. If you're gonna be spending your time in a box, then wear heels, why not? But if you're gonna be walking around, you might wanna wear something a bit more comfortable. You can wear white shoes if they're leather, but if they're canvas, they're gonna get messed up. I mean, mine are pretty good. <laughs> but tips. Ain't too hot.
Did I give up? Was it too hard? Or was it too hard? Cause I just gave up Just gave up Did I sleep away the day? Cause I was tired Or did I get tired? Cause I slept too much Slept too much We go up and down We go up and down I'm on this roller coaster all right, we're here with Mark Hubbard, Spartan alum. Go Spartans. Um, Mark, why do you think this tournament has become such a party event? I mean, I think two reasons. Obviously, first, you gotta give it to the GOAT. Tiger, his hole in one here. I yeah. feel like that short, sort of changed the environment. I mean, you mm -hmm. watch it, and there's just kind of casually people standing around, but it's nothing like this. Mm -hmm. I mean, to have people go that crazy. Um, and then I just think golf needs it. I mean, yeah. We're trying to attract a you know a younger crowd, and I think golf needs a party scene like this. I wish there were more tournaments like this. Definitely. Well, good luck this week. I hope you play well. Thanks. For sure. We fall back sometimes. We fall back sometimes. I'm on this roller coaster ride. In this roller coaster ride. day it is for us we've been here since Tuesday but it's day four of the tournament and <clears throat> this is my vitamins because <clears throat> sorry I totally lost my voice from yelling um, so it is day four we're gonna go watch a little bit of golf and then we're gonna head to the airport just because we didn't schedule our flight the smartest way since it is Super Bowl Sunday go Niners but we're gonna head out now and watch a little bit more golf we go up and down we go up and down on on this roller coaster ride roller coaster ride we fall back sometimes we fall back sometimes on on this roller coaster ride so tiffany and i have been <laughs> talking about how it would be really funny if a golf ball landed on us on me and like right here and then somebody would to hit it there but now, after we've been talking about this for a while, we feel like it's gonna happen, so I'm just recording everything right now. Heads up, heads up! Oh my god, dude, exactly! I so almost like, got her! Did I not just say my It's right there! If you're heading to the waste management, keep in mind all of these rules that i mentioned and thank you for watching subscribe share like all that good stuff see you in the next one <laughs> 